At present, I am currently a book author. I'm also preaching at the feast. I am holding the position of regional nursing research focal point and I have investments in the Philippines. I am actually enjoying the time of my life. I'm working on my passion and I'm just ser I'm serving God and I'm having the time of my life. And you know what's the main reason why I had all those things? It's one thing, the first thing I did is to believe in myself. Good day everyone, my name is Jonas. I'm your overseas Filipino workers advocate from the Sultanate of Oman, is a Pokong nurse. I am currently the feast of uh, the, the preacher of the feast of Oman and uh, as a Pokong author and um ano pa ba? <laughs> Isa akong researcher and a vlogger. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is about believing in yourself. I think every overseas Filipino worker should hear this message. Okay, kasi napaka-importante nito. For me, it's a gold standard. For me, it's really one of the most important things that every OFW should know. Just a little bit of background. Isa po akong um, anak ng farmer. And uh, lumaki po ako sa bundok ng palanan Isabela. So, from a young age, I already, I'm already exposed to poverty and sobrang hirap ng buhay. Yung parents ko, mahirap ang buhay. Parents ng parents ko, mahirap. Grandparents ko, parents ng grandparents. Alam mo yon generation kayo ng sobrang mahihirap na mga pamilya. And so, at the early age, I, I already made the commitment of... Um, cutting the poverty. Gusto ko nang itigil. Sino dito ang gusto nang itigil ang hira, ang poverty sa mga pamilya nila? I know a lot of people wanted to cut poverty in their family. And ako, isa talaga ako doon. That's my main mission. I promise to myself, hindi na maghihirap ang pamilya ko, pati maging anak ko, yung mga susunod na generasyon sa akin. They will have a great life because I started building, I started cutting the poverty. That is eating my family from generation to generation. At nung time na yun, alam mo yung feeling na ang hirap lang ng buhay nyo. Yung father ko, nag-move kami sa Tugigaraw after how many years, decades in Palana, nag-move kami sa city. Yung father ko is a construction worker and my mother work as a nanny. At ako naman, during weekend, nag-work ako bilang uh, shepherd. <laughs> Nagpapastol po ako ng sheep para may pang-allowance ako. And when you are exposed to poverty, Sobrang laking impact nun sa identity mo, sa pagkatao mo. Yung parang kinag-question mo yung sarili mo na hanggang dito na lang ba ang buhay namin? Hanggang dito na lang ba hirap na pinagdadaanan namin? So, yun ang naging experience ko. But then, I use the poverty as an inspiration. So, instead na sirain ako, ginamit ko yun para mag-aral ng mabuti. At present, actually... I graduated with honors, we are Dean's Medalist ng nursing ko and a full scholar ng College of Nursing. Wala pong binayaran ng pamilya ko because I'm an academic academic scholar. And then I had uh, two master's degree. I have a master degree, master's degree in public health. I also have a master's degree in nursing administration. I started with my doctor of philosophy in nursing. And uh, yun, ganun yung mga nangyari sa buhay ko. Hindi ako makapaniwala minsan. Pero when I embrace personal development, I learned that believing in myself, believing in the God, that given potentials within me will actually bring me anywhere. Hanggat hindi ako naniniwala sa potentials na itinanim ng Panginoon sa akin, hindi nagbago ang buhay namin. But when I was young, when I was studying, I kept on reminding, my, I kept on reminding myself that I have potentials within me, that I have brilliance within me planted by our God Almighty. And when I started believing that I can, that I have abilities, that's the time that I started to have a lot of breakthroughs. So ngayon, bakit mo kailangan maniwala sa sarili mo? There are four things. Okay, first and foremost, number one is this. Go back to your authentic self. What is your authentic self? You are created to be good. You are created to dream big. Naalala mo nung bata ka, nung bata tayo, ako nung bata ako, oh, gusto gusto kong uh, lumipad, di ba? Maging superman. Di ba? May mga iba gusto nilang maging... Um, Maging piloto, yung mga gusto nilang pumunta sa moon. Diba? Pagpakinggan mo yung mga bata ngayon, parang walang restriction ng mga pangarap nila. That's our original self. Yung mga adult ngayon, nung bata mga yan, mataas ang mga pangarap nila. But when they were exposed to the hardship of life, exposed to a lot of failures, that's the time na yung original self nila, yung pagiging gold nila, yung authentic self nila, natakpan ng natakpan ng dirt of failures, of doubts, of shame. 
until such time na takot na silang mangarap. So, di ba, we can learn a lot from the children, from the kids. Yung mga bata na yun, sobrang taas nilang mangarap. Ganun tayo nung bata, but when we were exposed, nawala na tayo ng chance na mangarap. What I am telling you right now is to go back to your authentic self, to the real you. You have brilliance, you have greatness within, you have abilities that maybe until now hindi pa na-discover. There are potentials within you planted by God na pag ginamit mo, you can actually change your life. That you can help your family. You can actually touch lives of many people. Meron ka yan. Go back to your authentic self. Believe in yourself. Number three is, in order for you to believe in yourself, you need to improve your self-talk. You know what? Most of the time, if we are alone and we wake up in the morning, instead of telling that, ang malas ko naman, puro na lang ang problema, instead of telling those things, try to affirm yourself, try to improve your self-talk by telling good things. Napakahalaga ng self-talk kasi ngayon ang tinatanim mo sa subconscious mo and whatever things that you say to yourself will be your identity. If you keep on telling yourself through your self-talk that you are amazing, that you have brilliance, you have greatness, you can definitely live to that expectation. So yung self-talk mo, you need to improve that and transform it into positive ones. And we will go to that number three. Number three is about self-affirmation. You know, most of the times I'm I'm listening to a recorded video, no no, uh, MP3 from YouTube about. And the title is I am. So it's all about affirmation that I am a great speaker. I I am destined to live a great life, and it's really good things to feed your mind with positive thoughts and energy, affirming yourself about your abilities, di ba? About about the great things that you can do. So in lang, affirmation is very important because when you keep on affirming yourself, wala ka na ibang choice minsan kundi panindigan mo na na meron ka talagang alam, na meron ka talagang brilliance, na meron ka talagang greatness. That's number three, affirm yourself. Number four is this, um, don't live in fears. Okay? Believe in yourself. Bakit ka natatakot? Minsan natatakot ka kasi akala mo hindi mo kaya. Pero sa totoo lang kaya mo. Na, na, na try mo na isang bagay na may ayaw kang gawin, feel mo sobrang hirap, but when you tried it, you actually survived and you won. Maraming beses na nangyari sa akin yun. At the start of any uh, uh, endeavor, feel ko hindi ko kayang gawin. Feel ko hindi ko kayang magsalita sa harap. Feel ko hindi ko kayang magsulat ng book. And then I was surprised I was able to overcome the obstacles na kaya ko yung journey na yun na survive ko. And here I am, I have my book. I, I'm a motivational speaker. I'm speaking in front of people, hundreds of people. Na nung una, takot na takot ako. Okay, in order for you to move forward, you need to set aside that fear by believing in yourself. Okay, number five is this. This is the most powerful thing. You know what? Alam ko, exposed na exposed ka na sa lahat ng mga critics sa paligid mo. di ba? Ang daming negative na mga tao, ang daming naninira sa inyo, ang daming bashers and haters. And you hear a lot of people pulling you down, telling you don't dream big, you know, dream. Ito lang ang kaya mo, ito lang kaya gawin ng pamilya mo. You cannot move for Ang daming ingay na sinasabing hindi mo kaya gawin. Ay, especially sa malalaking pangarap mo. Ang daming naysayers. Ang daming lalapit sa'yo sabihin na ko, babaan mo yung pangarap mo, mahirap maabot yan. Ang daming gagawa sa'yo yan. Ang daming magsasabi sa'yo na hindi mo kaya yan. Ang daming at the back telling you that you cannot do it. There are many people out there who are watching you fail. They are just waiting there. You know, alam mo yan, prepare na sila mag-celebrate. Ayan, nababagsak na siya. Ayan, nasusuko na siya. Ayan, nagigive up na siya. Don't give them a chance to win their bets, di ba? Kung ang bet nila sa'yo talagang ma-fail ka na, ba't mo sila pagbibigyan ng pagkakataon? So my point is this, there are already many critics out there. Di ba? Huwag mo naman nang pati ikaw eh, hindi mo na fan yung sarili mo. Hindi naman yung pagiging self, sobrang believe sa sarili. But somehow, inilalait ka na ng ibang tao, do not join them by belittling yourself. At least yung normal na affirmation, telling yourself, oh, may pangarap ako, may pangarap ako, kaya ko to. I have dreams. I will fight for these dreams. I have brilliance. God is with me. He will guide me. I have dreams within me. Meron akong nararamdaman. I have that intuition that when I acted on these dreams, maybe ito makapagpasaya sa akin. Okay? Ang dami-dami ng critics sa paligid mo. Huwag mo nang damayan. Huwag mo nang pati ikaw na iti mo pa yung sarili mo. Okay? Don't do that. Kung may isang tao man na mag a sa iyo, na mag a sa iyo, na maniniwala sa sarili mo, that person is the person you see in the mirror every morning. At ikaw yun. Okay? So right now, my final message is believe in 
yourself? Do you want to overcome poverty? Do you want to have an amazing, abundant relationship? Do you want to make your dreams come true? Then the first thing that you need to do is maniwala ka muna na kaya mo. Kasi sa totoo lang, kaya mo. Sa totoo lang, kaya ang kaya mo. You have the power to do that. God is with you. You have potentials. You have brilliance. You have greatness. Then you can definitely do it. I want to pray for each and every one of you in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our dear and ever loving God, we praise and glorify your name. Thank you, Lord God, for planting dreams in the heart of your people, especially those people who are watching right now. Teach them, Lord God, to believe in your in the God, their God-given abilities. Teach them, Lord, to believe in the brilliance that you have planted within them. We praise and glorify you, Lord. They will entrust to your lives. This prayer we ask through the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for watching po. Para sa mas manay pang usapang OFW, please click the subscribe button below. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, click more than bell para updated ka. I have more than hundreds of videos about overseas Filipino workers. I hope you can learn from it. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. Super, super appreciated po. Lagi mo lang tatandaan. Ang ibig sabi ng OFW ay overseas Filipino winners. Bye-bye. God bless.